Hi, let us talk about the enzyme aldolase. Aldolase is the enzyme that breaks fructose 1,6-bisphosphate into dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Once the substrate binds, the ring structure is first converted into the linear structure. The active site of this enzyme has lysine along with acidic and basic amino acids. The functional group present with lysine is NH2. The acidic amino acid has CWOH group which can donate its hydrogen. Now let's see how this enzyme functions. In the first step, the lysine which is present at the active site of the enzyme breaks the double bond between carbon and oxygen. Next, the acidic amino acid at the active site donates its hydrogen to this oxyanion. Next, the basic amino acid accepts this hydrogen from lysine. In the next step, the hydroxyl group which is present at second carbon atom reacts with H plus ion from the surrounding environment to form water. Since the OH group from the second carbon atom is lost as water, this bond now shifts between carbon and nitrogen of lysine. Now, pay attention to C4 carbon atom. This basic amino acid takes away the hydrogen from this hydroxyl group. Then the enzyme breaks the bond between C3 and C4. As the bond is broken, we will rewrite these numbers as 1, 2 and 3. Now, this carbon forms a double bond with this oxygen. Now, pay attention to this product. This group over here is the aldehyde group. Since we are having three carbon atoms, this is a basic structure of Glyceraldehyde. The third carbon has the presence of phosphate. So the product so formed is glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. This glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is released from the enzyme. Now, let's see how the second product is formed. Here, the third carbon has only three bonds. So, this basic amino acid will donate its hydrogen to this carbon. Now, this water molecule will break the bond between this carbon and nitrogen of lysine.
Next, this acidic amino acid regains its hydrogen from this hydroxyl group at second carbon atom. Then the bond between carbon and nitrogen is broken to form the final product. So now let's analyze the product form. The new product has three carbon atoms. Then we have a double bond between second carbon atom and oxygen. So this over here is the keto group. If you notice this basic structure carefully, then this structure is similar to that of acetone. If I attach hydroxyl group at first and the third carbon atom, then the structure becomes dihydroxyacetone. And if you attach phosphate group to this, then it becomes dihydroxyacetone phosphate. So the final product so formed is dihydroxyacetone phosphate. So this is how the enzyme aldolase functions. It breaks fructose 1,6-bisphosphate into dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate.